Good morning, my people. Today we are doing a little fresh Flash Friday sale. We're gonna do three guides for five dollars. Five dollars using code free. Holy crap! I cannot talk. You. Treats. <laughs> she literally just jumped on the table. Jasmine, and you gave me a little brat, okay? You you get the treat when we get. You know what we're talking about the drift car project, right? Like, yes. You know. <laughs> okay. Yes, I know about the drift so car. So I think I, I think I found the car. No um, way. It's kind of like it's kind of rough. Um, like look, check what this kind out. of car? So it's it's an M3, but it's an E36, so it's a 97. Okay. When I was thinking of what car to buy on the BMW side, I was like, I was looking at E36 3 Series, I was looking at E46 3 Series, and really what, what kind of concerned me with those cars was the lack of power, right? So if I was running a, a 325i, I was gonna be having a car that had like 160 horsepower, maybe, and you know, at that point, then we gotta start thinking about swapping out the engine or something different. And it was really gonna like change how the project was gonna be. I didn't even think about an E36 M3 until I actually stumbled upon this one online. We're gonna go, we're gonna go check it out later, later today, but like all the seats and everything are torn up. Uh, we'll take those out. The steering wheel, like the whole, all the leather's coming off. Would you get new seats too? Yeah, so you'd be replacing both seats. I, I was talking to Farouk and we could either go with one or two seats, but I wanted to go with two so we could, you know, you could get in the car or someone else could get I in the car. Drive the but car? I don't know about drive it because you can't, you can't drive a stick. I know, it would suck. You can kind of drive a stick. But look, here. So the paint's kind of crappy, um, but like it's, I don't know, like, like it's got 210,000 miles. I have to test drive it first. That's kind of my main concern because with this, with this car, like if we got to get a new engine, I'm going to be like, hey, so Bree, guess what? The project, um, we have to spend ten more thousand dollars, and you're like, mm, yeah, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. One thing that's really cool is is Brie is super supportive with all these projects, and she she's even excited to see like how this car is going to turn out. And I think that's uh, that that personally gets me really stoked because then it's not like it's not something that I have to like make and try to hide from her or like try to hide how much we're spending. Like she knows all the details of the project, and I think it's super cool for her to see you know the first day that we get this car to the end and even, you know, I got, we're putting two seats in the car so that she can take a ride in after. And uh, she won't she won't even go in the car with donuts right now. So we'll see how this goes once we get her in, you know, we're sliding around a, a, a corner or something. So this is the only one I can find right now that's manual transmission that is under, this one's 5,800. Um, all the other manual transmission ones are closer to 10. They have less miles and everything, but I even found like an automatic that has, I think 180,000 and that one um, was still 65. So it was more expensive and automatic, but it did have a rebuilt engine at 72,000 miles. So the you actual- want a manual for this? Yeah, you have to have a manual. So just gotta check this thing out and hopefully, I don't know, so what's your, what's your final verdict on there, looking through the photos? I feel like, I just feel like all these things are so small because you're gonna take the seats out anyway, so you see the thing with the seats. Because when you say like, you're gonna make a drift car, like everything in the inside's coming out, right? Yeah. I, don't, I feel like it looks really good. Especially for what you're going to be using it for, too. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> you're crazy. All right, guys, so we just, we're at the car right now. The owner didn't actually want to be on camera, didn't want his voice or really anything. So we're just kind of rolling with it right now. We're going to check out the car. I haven't really got a chance to check it out yet, so you're going to kind of learn with me all the things that are wrong with this car. But anyway, let's uh, start looking at it. So, like the obvious thing right off the bat, right? We got like a little dent right there. The wheels are horrible. Some Chinese tires, Ling Long. There's a tire name, Ling Long? Oh, they said crosswind, but it says Ling Long on the tires. That's the kind of curb rash you want right there. <laughs> oh my God, Jesus. I think one of my concerns was that I was gonna buy a three series by accident because the M52 or the M50, whichever engine it is, and the S52 are such similar looking engines. I wanted to make sure that the VIN matched an M3, all the little pieces on the sides matched with M3, you know, stuff. And it was, it wasn't, oh, that's missing that. That has a normal three series thing and this has an M3 thing. So I was really trying to make sure I didn't buy a fake. It looks like, it looks like the clip. Yeah, so the actual place where the bumper would clip in is missing off there. So that's cool. That's cool. Oh, check out this emblem. Damn, that carbon fiber emblem though. Oh my God, oh, what is this? Oh, it's like, a, it's like a skin. Jesus, sorry. Whoops. I'm sure, I'm sure he's not gonna care about that. I guess I just took off his emblem, whoops. 
Uh, let's check it out. All right. <laughs> When I was looking at the car, there was a lot of things that I noticed for sure. Like there wasn't one thing, it was 25 things. Like, you know, the headliner coming down, the flop and the shifter, like the door panels were, were coming loose, the, the AC worked, um, but like everything around it, the carbon fiber wraps, it was hard to look past all this stuff going on when all my other cars, you know, I, I bought in good condition. But again, like guys, we're looking at all cosmetic stuff right now. I'm actually not completely, I'm not gonna, like this isn't necessarily bad right here. Yeah, I mean just normal like leather cracking. It's got like an aftermarket radio, whatever. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and uh, let's pop the hood and check this thing out. Okay. It looks pretty good, pretty damn good. Is like <laughs> hanging on by a thread. Everything else looks pretty damn good though. I mean. You know, for all I know, like he could have just cleaned up this engine. It sounds pretty good. I mean, let me FaceTime Farouk real quick and see if I can get him on the phone. Farouk is an awesome dude. We did a build episode on one of his cars, his 2JZ swap E92. Just seeing like the passion he has behind stuff, face lights up when you talk about cars. When you talk about drifting, he, he gets excited and those are the people that I love to work with, is people that get excited about what they do. He's been drifting since 2002, 18 years at this point of experience with drifting. So I wanted someone to be part of this project that knew what they were doing, wasn't just like, oh yeah, I've seen that some people do this with drifting. You know, he's in it. He, this is what he does for a living. He builds cars and drifts as well. So I wanted to get him on the phone before I bought this car just to make sure there was no like common issues that happened with the E36s or really major things that I should look out for on these cars. Hey, bud. hey do you happen to have a, of, like five minutes That way you're right not now? distracted driving right now? Yeah, so uh, the main thing on BMWs is oil leaks. Okay. Uh, get underneath it and just double check that. And then the other thing too is that the, the rear subframe mounts can rip out. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, just kind of like run your fingers along uh, the edge of it and make sure that none of that metal is like compromised or ripped. You okay. Do it with like a cell phone kit, a light, and then just kind of look at it. Just, yeah, you might have to put one wheel on a curve or something like that to get your head deep enough in there. Gotcha. Because I'm cause i basically looking, I'm looking like up here, correct? Like yep, get, yep, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll go ahead and check that out. And just double check to make sure the vanos is not making a ton of noise. Yeah. Um, is the is the engine pretty quiet? Yeah. It, I like I I've noticed a pretty consistent idle too. Um, so I mean, as far as I can tell, it it sounds good. I'm not hearing anything weird. Like this right here, I'm a little concerned about. That's that's definitely funky. Uh, that's just the intake. Oh, so that's the that's actually the alternator cooler. Funny enough. It's like a little bed pipe for the alternator cooler. Okay. Um, not, not a huge deal. Okay. It's probably not seen. I did. I did. We're gonna change. So I, I did. I did notice this right here too. Yeah. yeah. So on, on the. That, yeah. That, that's really bad. Not. Not. I mean, like, okay, it's super common that, that it cracks, and when the you can get, I mean, I can get that the same day. Okay. Cool. Um. So other than the oil leaks, the rear subframe. Um, anything else that you would say? They're pretty epic solid cars. Uh, we got to do a compression test. Uh, just make sure that the uh, there's no big clunk in the drivetrain. Uh, that's the Glebo that would be bad. That's pretty much it. Okay, cool. All right, sweet. I appreciate All you, man. Right. All right. All right, later. I think after talking to him, I had a much better feeling about the. He's not seeing a lot of major things, or there's, there's not something that's standing out to him and he was mentioning stuff but it wasn't stuff nothing was popping up like oh yeah that's that's on this car that's a problem so as of right now we're good we'll see as things go on you think this is a good sign <laughs> why that means there's something up there's no way it looks like there's like a height adjustable spring in the back all right well let's get in and take a quick test drive and see how it uh how it does there's like some, I'm hearing some little like clunks in the rear, but I'm assuming that's what the shocks are. Or I mean the, the springs that were in the rear. 
there is when we look when we looked under it, there's Bill St. Bill St. Chalk, so it's a good that's a good sign, but let's get on it a little bit. I mean, like, it, the car definitely has power. That's kind of the first thing I'm, like, surprised at. Guys, it sounds good. <laughs> All the springs and shit rolling around the back. What's that? I think, we're, I think we're rubbing a little bit on one of the tires or something. I wouldn't doubt it. Like, these wheels don't even look like they fit the car. Oh, hear that? Okay. Yeah, this thing... I think wheels and suspension are really gonna like do a lot for this car right now because that's rough. All right, well, let's head back. I mean, there's not really like anything major I'm seeing right now or hearing, I guess I should say. Um, I don't think the e-brake works. The but I think the button's like jammed on this right now. Uh, I guess this. All right, guys. So this uh, project is now ours. It's gonna be a long road. It's gonna be a long road for sure. But this is the one. Like we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna make it work somehow. It's gonna work, guys. So I'm excited to take you guys along the journey of this car right now because this thing is gonna be a journey. Basically. Hey, come outside. I got the car parked right here. Come check it out. Okay, coming. Bye. No way. So, <laughs> here it is. In. in. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so done with you. <laughs> the crazy part is like when you when you started up, the motor sounds good. I FaceTimed Farouk and like, and had him look at things. He told me a couple things to look for. I don't know, I guess I, I'm a, my, I feel a little worried right now because I'm not sure like, what we're gonna find, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's whenever I feel like whenever you buy a used car, you never know if someone just completely trashed it or like. Well, did it like when you drove it? Did it sound okay? Yeah, like everything sounded good. I mean, there was nothing really that like. Can I look in it? Yeah, go ahead. There's nothing really like popped out. Oh. I like I like this. <laughs> the M3 seatbelts. Yeah, I like that. Really good. I'm I like, excited about it. I like the wing on it. It's cool. Here, help me. Like so, there's this weird thing with the um, when you pop the hood. If you could just like pull here a little bit. When I pop it, I'll show you this real quick. Oh wow! So I know to you that you're like I don't really know what you, you don't know what you're like, looking but at, <laughs> but yeah, but it looks clean. No, but I'm saying it's clean in here. There's like some little things. Like see this right here? Mm -hmm. Like that should not be. We're literally though. Guess what we're about to do? Just start ripping everything out. All the all the interior, <laughs> everything right now. I can't wait to see that. It's like I kind of want to help. <laughs> yeah. I like it though. I mean, it looks good. It looks really good. What do you think? Are you gonna I drive it? Yeah, if I learn how to drive stick, finally. <laughs> I can't even drive the Z yet. Just stalling everywhere. <laughs> so really the next step is to just completely gut this car, right? We want to take everything out, door panels, carpets, um, really just everything. Like, I don't know, we're not going to take the dash out because there's no reason to take all that out at the moment. Like, I don't know that we're going to be stripping AC or anything of that nature, but just really getting like the carpets out, all, all that extra weight that's just completely unneeded at this point, and also just looks like complete shit now. All right, so we're about to get started gutting it. Look at this. So we don't have an e-brake right now, so we're using this. That's our e-brake. Um, we got some lighting set up so we can, so the camera can better see it. We got Derek right here. What's up? Uh, and we're just gonna start going. I mean, oh, I guess we figured out why the seats are shaking. <laughs> are you serious? Are they all loose? Dude, I just literally. I put this up to it. This isn't even the right size socket, I don't think. And I put it up to it and just turned it. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Literally different bolts on this. And look at this. I haven't even touched this with a socket yet. Might need to go pick up a set of sockets. So this, this was what I was worried, worried about. So we do have like a, I couldn't find my, my torque wrenches. And this is a, looks like a, like a 50. Take out the seat belt. Thank you. 
You think you could maybe go to Home Depot if I give you my wallet? Yeah, I can Grab us a set of, to send me a picture before you buy it. Make sure they're like 10, eight, not five, 16, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll look on homedepot.com and I'll send you a link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it has like the aisle number and everything. Yeah, yeah, uh, if you send me the link, I'll, I'll grab it. Thanks, man, I really appreciate it. Oh, what the f You see that? That's the yeah, whole seat. Popped off. This whole seat just pops off. You figure, you figure for safety, you want some sunflower seeds, dude? Are you hungry right now? Yeah. Oh, dude, we got a quarter. Isn't that crazy, dude? That was literally, so this was literally like just pins that click in. Derek right now is get is at Home Depot. Kind of waiting on him for a couple things because I lost them. I had a full set of sockets. Everything ratchet, you know, every every size and I mean not every size, but like the common sizes that you need. And it tipped over one time in the M3 and just everything spilled out and I ended up cleaning up the car. When I cleaned up the car, I had like a just like a trash bag full of of stuff I was going to keep and then a trash bag of, of stuff I was going to throw away. I actually ended up throwing away a bag of tools that I needed. I'm not, I don't even know how I did this. I staked like another bag for the tool bags because it had a couple little things in it and basically threw away a bunch of stuff I needed. Literally threw away to uh, tools. So. I got it. <laughs> Sweet, dude. The, uh, the seats in the BMW or the M3, the other one, is a 50. I'm gonna say this one's a 50. Oh, it's a 50. Boom. Oh. <clears throat> All right, I'm done. Bring it over here. Hey, one sec. Yeah, I'm coming over there. Hold on. There you go. It's okay, now we got a lighter. Oh. Now we just light the rest of the car on fire, dude. Exactly. It'll work out. Oh, this actually looks really cool. Like the, the green inside looks so sick. It's gonna they look. Spray the whole frame down, right? Yeah, the, the, it looks it looks pretty good. I mean, go. it's sick. Dude, don't fart right now. You're right <laughs> by my face. It's Cam. I promise. Dude. I didn't eat. <laughs> Okay, I didn't eat any burritos today. You're you're good. Dude, you had Chick-fil-A. That's like almost the same. <laughs> Literally soaked my foot. Oh, dude. dude. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that's that's actually the question right there. What is that? That's that's probably that's 20 years of whatever's been filled in here. Think about that, dude. <laughs> Here's how it looks right now. Right now we got carpets out, almost. These Semi. things are so damn wet. Like, it, it, it's gross. It's, it's really bad. Like, yeah, my foot's soaked. <laughs> really all that's left is the carpet right here, the carpet right there, and then kind of these little pieces. We built off. Oh yeah. I think it's pretty heavy. Yeah. It's probably five pounds right here. It's weird because it's like, it's oddly satisfying. You're just ripping everything apart. There's this stuff right here that looks like it'd be a bitch to take off. It's like, it has adhesive on it. I'm assuming this is just more sound deadening material. All right. All right guys, let's cut this. Here's this stuff. It's kind of amazing how durable a lot of this stuff is, huh?
<laughs> Here, come in a little bit more. Yep. So here right now is how all this looks. This looks just terrible right now. But this is just popping out. So these were just held on with two Phillips screws. Super easy to take out. So far, like, everything's been pretty easy, huh? Yeah, not too bad. So I, I was thinking, dude, I'm going to go get some uh, pizza. And, and then you want me to <laughs> do the rest? Do I get money? <laughs> Need some extra cash. Yeah, dude, I got know? like 10 bucks, dude. Oh, that works? sweet. Yeah, I'll, I'll get some uh, candy after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Finish it up. Let's come out over here. There we go. Cool, we're just gonna stand for the other side. And then that middle section, let's might as well just take it off. We're gonna have to get the screws out. Now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put it all into the comb after we're done and just yeah take trash it. trash most of it anything that we probably I don't know maybe some of this will go to parts but I just I don't know that I want to hold a lot of this stuff in my house yeah so um, there's like this piece right here this plastic piece I'm pretty sure this needs to come out it's like a it's like a piece that you'd have if there was a sunroof. We'll see once I take it off. I need to put it back on. I think that's some bad news. What? I think that has to go back on. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, hey. Hey, Ryan. Um, so, we got some bad news. This is a great idea until this happened. So what we learned is those 12, 15 bolts well, they hold on this. Dude, that seems, that's insane though. This thing weighs like 30 pounds just to hold that on. I should have known it'd be a 10. Come on, <laughs> always a 10. If we need a screw, we have all of them. They're just, they're just everywhere. They're just all out there. Ah, it's gonna drive me nuts. This one right here, I don't know what to do with it. That nut's driving you nuts? It's a plastic bolt too. Yeah, I'm just not. I'm just not sure why. I'm trying to cut myself on that. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Is it not loosening? No, it looks like it is. I got it. There you go. To get off. Damn, this was the hardest thing to get off so far in the whole car. I think it was just stuck on. Yeah, it was stripped. It was just stuck on there. See, the problem is I don't know which one's speaker wires and which are actual, like needed. You know, Cody was just like, hey, you want, you want to see my, my new car? And I was like, yeah, sure. No, I didn't. Don't even, don't even, don't even. And do you need some extra? Dude, there's t-shirts under there? Are like rags? Dude, rags? What? <laughs> dude. <laughs> How? Oh yeah, yeah, dude. This is getting worse. <laughs> just... Is that your outfit, dude? Oh, this is like. I probably wouldn't touch that shit. Yeah. But. That's why Derek said to me, "You're not." Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're shaking the whole car back there. Yeah. Can you, can you try to do that a little less violent? <laughs> right, I'm going in. And that's the last thing he ever said. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's nothing on my side. He's slacking. He's slacking. Look at that. All done. Can I have a, can I get a, a 10 millimeter? Well, this is not what I anticipated. You know what's really, like a really good question? Yeah. Like, how are you going to get out of there? Oh, shit's falling in my eye. This is pain. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what happened? A crane. Ooh. Are you serious, dude? Are you serious right now? <laughs> <laughs> you're going to do that to you like that? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> what? You just had a crane in the middle of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just not sure what, I'm not sure why this is a press. Like, why? 
Yeah, you're definitely gonna want to be able to face that for like when you put it on the trailer. Oh, well, I guess you don't. You probably don't really need. Oh. Boom. Mic drop. That's what's up. I'm out. See ya. So day one of the gut is done. Um, I think we got a lot done. I mean, we pulled out all the carpet. We got pretty much uh, like as much of this of the top as we could get. The whole rear taken out. We found some extra t-shirts. <laughs> so right now, literally the only thing that's left is wiring. I think there's like some, there's some speakers. I didn't really, we didn't really mess with door panels. And I just feel like, I don't know that we're really gonna mess with those right now because the regulators on the windows don't work. I also don't know what other crap's going on underneath those windows. Like, I don't know if I pull those off. Like, if there's just a bunch of, we're gonna open like a whole nother thing. I just don't feel, we don't feel like doing it today. Fix the e-brake. Yeah, I saw at the end, fix the e-brake. But now it's, it's really just getting out the rest of the stuff, cleaning it up, wiping a lot of the stuff down, cause it's pretty nasty. Like, once it's all cleaned up, we can clean up the wiring and stuff too. Like, it'd be cool to have just the wiring running down the side and, instead of just all over the place. I would guess that we like we had to remove like 150 to 200 pounds of stuff, don't you think? Well, the seat, the seat, one seat, I think one seat probably weighs 50 pounds. I've yeah. looked it up in a, like a fully stripped E36 M3 weighs like 2,600 pounds versus 3,100 from the factory. But even either way, like that's a pretty light, fairly light car, you know, compared to like an E92 or something. I'm tired. I've been up since uh, what two in the morning? Yeah, dude, I forgot. Oh, dude, you're almost at, you're almost, he's almost at the 24 hour mark. This dude came after his shit. He came so. after work. He's a real one. <laughs> real one. <laughs> I've actually changed my mind. I think I'm gonna sell this car. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Good. As lightly used, like, <laughs> includes all the pieces. Dude, you just Barely. pull up and you're sitting on the floor. And you drive <laughs> There's no seats. They're like, where is he? I got, I got like a mirror pointed at the road so I can see. All right. Yeah, let's go. I'm done. All right, let's throw all this crap away, man. All right.